exclusive beachfront compound of Patujin Bar was inspired by Australian artist Donald Friend's palatial home in Sanur, built in 1968. Friend moved into his residence on a date determined to be auspicious by a local astrologer. In 1979, the famous Ceylon architect Jeffrey Bauer added his phone, his own touch, to the premises, calling it Pantai Sanur, if I'm spelling that correctly. Friends' extensive house staff, along with this remarkable miniature, Camlin and art collections contributed to his notoriety. His lifestyle was like that of a feudal lord. Visitors over the next 12 years included Desiderius Orban, Queen Soraya of Persia, Mike Jagger, the Duke of Edinburgh, Gore Vidal, and Prime Minister John Gordon. The traditional Kampung building was a two-story structure at the center. It has a museum on the lower level and an upper deck with the views of the sea. The property was renovated by the architect and designer Ed Tull in 1985. Further renovations were undertaken during the late 1990s. Now, water bubbles in fountains while koi gracefully swim as you can see right here, the cool fish are swimming in ponds. Now I'm going to show you some pictures. So this is how it looks like. Got some fountains. The fish. on the cliff. <clears throat> Vertiginous cliffs that challenge even the most athletic offer superb advantage vantage points from which to see the diamond studded reflections in the waves of the Java Sea. The barreling waves have made the surfing at the beaches along Bali's southernmost coast. Soma Temple, the American-born mother of an ardent surfing family, was one of the first expatriates to build a house here. It overlooks such spectacular surfing spots as Binjin Dreamland, Impossible, Padang, Padangs, and most beautiful of all, Uluwatu. The latter also harbors one of Bali's most sacred temples. From Soma's open pavilion perched on the edge of a cliff in the village of Pekator, one can see the volcanoes of Java on a clear day, while to the north mighty Mount Agung, the home of the Balinese gods, reign mighty, nestled among flowering trees in an otherwise dry area of the island, this charming Balinese-style family home bu bustles with visitors and fellow surfers every weekend, while colorfully decorating f decorated fishing boats from Bali and other islands such as Sulawesi 
and Madora dot the open sea.